Good morning, my name is Coach Ford. I am a teacher here at uh, Daresville High School. And today what we're gonna be doing, we've got some, um, we've got some beehives here. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be introducing some new bees into a couple new beehives. Um, we had two hives uh, last year that, that, uh, that flew away. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna start by doing is I'm gonna break down this box. I'm gonna open this box up and go through um, what each part is. We'll see the inside of the box before the bees get in. And then we'll, we'll look and see uh, what's going on inside the box and make sure it's ready for the bees to go in there this time. So this top part that I'm lifting off is called our telescoping cover. Uh, and, and what it does is it fits over the whole thing. Uh, it fits down over the whole thing. It has a, it has a lip on it uh, so that nothing can get up in, in there, nothing can get out, but it still provides some ventilation. It's a, it, and it's covered, with, it's covered in metal. And it's painted, so it provides a weatherproof, uh, weatherproof covering for the for the bees. So we'll set that aside. Inside of there, we have our our cover, our inner cover. And you notice on the inside here, it's got a hole drill. That's for ventilation for the bees, so that as the air comes in, the, the bees will actually fan. They'll they'll regulate the temperature of this hive, and they'll bring air in through the opening down here, and it will go out through this. It's like a chimney, it's just a ventilation shaft. Okay, so they'll, they'll circulate that air, it'll come in at the bottom and out at the top. It's also got a little bit of an area where the bees can come up in here, walk around, it's got enough, it's what we call bee space. It's got a, it's got a little lip on there, so the bees can get up and walk around on top of here if they want to. Um, we'll take that off and it's the same on the inside. It's got that little lip on the inside, just enough for bees to walk around comfortably in there. You can see they've tried to make some comb up here. Okay, they've, they've, put some, they've put some wax up on the top. So I'm going to set that aside. And inside the box, we will generally have it full of these frames. These frames are where the bees live. We start out with a foundation. We put the foundation in there. And it's a wax foundation with some wires running through it. And the shape of the, the the shape of the comb is stamped right into that foundation. And what the bees will do is they'll they'll produce their own wax and they'll start making they'll start making the comb. They'll start building the comb out on there until it looks something like this. Once it looks like this, they will either lay their eggs in there or they will start filling it with honey. Depending on where in the box it is, the lower in the box, the more towards the center, they're going to start putting their eggs in there and start raising the young bees uh, and, and covering that. So this hive left, and we can see some evidence of why they left on this one. This is what a good comb should look like right there without that, without that. That's what a good comb should look like. Nice and clean, nice and full, um, built out. When we flip it over on the other side, we see that it's been, it's been chewed up, and there's lines through it, and we can actually see one of the invaders living in there, right there. Okay, so what's happened with this one is that this hive was invaded by some predators. Uh, so that's, that's why the bees wound up leaving. Uh, we can see evidence that, that uh, what we call a powder moth was in here, and it has eaten through the larva has eaten through, and the larva is now right here. I'm going to pull that that one out right there. So there's a cocoon of that larva right there. Let's see if I can open that up. Now yeah, it's going to be all squishy, so I'm not going to show it to you. Uh, but the oh, I think I saw another one. Let me see it. It's it's gone. So what, what happened was those moths got in here and they laid their eggs in the hive uh, and those, those eggs hatched and started burrowing through the comb and eating the, eating the larva and the honey. So they've eaten the bee larva and they've eaten the honey. So when the bees can't keep their, uh, when, the, when the bees, uh, generally the bees will, um, the bees will defend their comb, defend their colony. When they're not able to do that effectively, uh, or when there's too many predators, too many invasive uh, uh, bugs getting in there, they'll leave the colony for a place where there's not, uh, where there's not as many uh, in, in invasive species, where there's not as many predators. 
So what we'll see here, we won't reuse these. We'll clean these combs up, uh, sanitize them, fumigate them, make sure that they're all clean and ready to go. So I'm going to set these aside. I'm going to check each of these as we go. This one, you can see, has a very clean foundation. It's ready to go. It's ready for those bees to, uh, to, to start building on that and making their colony in there. So I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and save that one and we'll use that one. This one you can see again, we've got some powder moth larva. And you can see, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but there's a nice little path cut right there that that larva has eaten through the comb. All right, here's, a, here's some more evidence. This is not that's not a honeybee. That's a yellow jacket. So what's happened is not only did the powder moths get in, you can see evidence on this one of, of quite a battle. You've got carcasses of yellow jackets and pieces of yellow jackets all over the place here. So, so the yellow jackets came in and invaded this comb, invaded this colony, and there was quite a battle with the yellow jackets. Uh, but it looks like between the yellow jackets and the, the powder moths, uh, the bees decided that this was not a suitable location for them and, and have left. So we'll, uh, on, the, on these next, the next colonies that we install in here, we'll make sure that we're nice and clean, that we give them a fresh start, and then we'll, we'll do some preventative maintenance as far as, as keeping the, as helping them, uh, keep helping them to keep the, um, to keep the predators out. All right, so as Coach Ford again, we have, I've now donned my beekeeping gear. Uh, there's, a, there's a mesh screen on my face to, to protect my face because the bees, when they get angry, they, they like to go for the face first. That's their instinct. Um, because if they can get the face or the eyes of a predator, then they, they're, they're a little bit safer. But what I've got here, I've got a box with about 10,000 bees in it. And that's our new colony. Uh, so inside of that box, you've got all those bees swarming around. In the middle of this box, which you can't see through the bees, is a jar, is a canister with, with some bee food in it. And also in there is a queen bee. So you can see on this side, the bees have actually gotten out of the box and are, are now on the, the outside of the box. Now, you notice I'm... I'm really close to those bees and they're not really interested. That's because there's a queen bee on the inside of here and that's what they're interested in. Okay, this, uh, this type of bee is called, these, these, this is an Italian breed of honey bees. Uh, the Italian breeds go back about 200 years um, and they, are, they have been bred uh, for, for centuries uh, for, for beekeepers. Uh, there are several different breeds of bees uh, these did not come from Italy. These, these came from uh, Bill's Bee Farm down in Cartersville, Georgia. So they are local. They're raised locally. It's a local queen. They know the, they know the, the, the flowers around here. They're used to the climate. So they should do very well in this climate. Uh, but these, these are an Italian breed. They produce very good honey and they're very docile. They're very tame. Uh, they, uh, you, you may have heard of some of the Africanized honeybees that are coming over um, that, that, that attack people. These don't do that. Uh, these are Italian. They, they are, they're very docile. Look at that. I can pet this one right here. Uh, and he's just sitting there. Or she is just sitting there. All of these bees should be females. All of these bees should be females. Once we get them in the box, they'll start producing male bees. The queen will start producing male bees. Uh, but all of these bees right now should be females. And, and I can pet that little, that little bee right there. She's not stinging me. Uh, she's very interested in the queen that's inside of there. Uh, the, 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 the male bees are called drones. Uh, and then the rest are females. The male bees have one purpose. Uh, and that's to help the queen make more bees. So are y'all ready over there? Just about. All right. So these guys, I'm going to put this box down. And we're going to look at these guys in back of me. We'll see the can in there uh, of food. And we're going to watch them pull the queen out. And then we'll look at how to install the queen first. What's 
What's that? You want to show it like it is? Yeah. So, yes, sir. So there's your queen on that strap, right? Yes. All right, so inside of here, you can see there's a can of bee food in there. We're going to pull that can out. And as we pull that can out, we're also going to pull the queen out. Are you going to hold that? Now, do y'all want me to spray them with some sugar water first? Uh, I'm trying to break the can for you first. Okay. Uh, spray them? Yes. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to spray these bees that are inside of here with a little bit of sugar water. Uh, they'll start cleaning that sugar water off the other bees, uh, and it'll be like a good Thanksgiving meal for them, which slows them down, makes them a little bit lethargic. <laughs> Let's open it up here. Oh yeah, they've already calmed down a little bit. They like that. Bees do everything by smell. So a lot of times what we'll do to, to confuse their communication and prevent an, a, 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 an attack is we'll, we'll puff some smoke into them. Okay, so they smell that smoke and they're not, then they can't, they can't communicate to get a coordinated attack going on. Right. Pull it up. Okay, let me see if I can, I can get it up. The can's really stuck in there this time. Alright, good. Okay, please. Really start flying. Yeah. So as soon as we pull this can out, they should start. The bottom may be stuck. So there we go, and we're actually going to reuse this can. We're going to set it over here, just off to the side. They've still got some food in there, so we're going to set that off to the side and hopefully not bump it too much. Okay? All right, so now we've got the queen in here. And you can see all these bees love that queen. Okay? So little cage here. We've got a queen. And it's plugged up on one end with what we call candy. It's basically just sugar. And you can see these bees nice around the edge here, but inside of that cage we've got one, two, we've got a, one very large bee, which is the queen. And then she's got about three what we call attendants. So they're going to help feed her, they're going to help keep her safe, they're going to protect her. Uh, they're, they're sort of the, the royal entourage of that queen. And you can see these other bees, they're not interested in me, they're interested in that queen. So what we're going to do, because we want these bees to stay in this hive, we're going to put that queen up on, the, uh, up on some of the foundation of this hive. And we're actually, uh, this, this box is designed to allow the queen to eat her way out or the others to eat their way in. Once they have... Uh, gotten used to this queen's smell uh, and accepted her as their queen, uh, they'll do everything to protect her. Until they accept her as their queen, as, until they accept her, her smell and her, her scent, uh, they're going to treat her as an invader and try to kill her. So she's got to stay in that box for, uh, for a little while until they, get used, until they accept her as their queen, they get her, her scent on them, and start accepting her as their as, as their the leader of their colony. Once they do that, we'll be able to open this up and let that queen out, and she'll start laying her eggs. But she's got enough food in there to keep her uh, going for for quite some time, uh, three or four days, uh, easily up to about two weeks.
Uh, but we won't. It'll usually take about two to three days for the for the colony to accept her, and then we'll be able to open that up and let her out into the colony. There you go. You want to put her on the put her on the comb? Are we putting it in the middle of these? Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this comb and I'm going to put this queen. They're not stinging. They're just, they're just playing. Well, let's see. I want to get out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this queen right to this comb, and I'm going to set this comb right in here. We're going to sandwich her in between two of the combs, okay? And then what we'll do is we'll just take that box and set it right down in there, and they will follow like just like they were holding onto that queen earlier. They're going to stay with that queen smell. You got enough room on move over. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to put the, the lid back on. Uh, let's put the. Uh, Oh, yeah. And we put the can inside Yeah. Well, get this over. Yeah. You can just put them on the can down there. Let me get a little stick or something to prop that up on. Mm. What I'm going to get, I'm going to get a little stick. Okay, I'm going to prop that just up there so that the bees can get up underneath there. What it is is this, this can has some sugar water in it, some food in it, and it's got some little holes in there. So until they, let me see if I can show you this. Okay, so what, see all these bees right around here, what they're doing is they're eating the, eating the sugar water that's in there. Okay, so until they start making their own honey, we need to feed them some sugar water. So we're going to leave this in there with a prop underneath it so that they, with enough bee space, so they can get up underneath there and continue eating that sugar. All right. So now they can get to the sugar, they can get to the queen. So we're going to close this up now and keep them in there. This grate here, what this grate is, this is, this is called a queen excluder. It's small, the holes are small enough for the worker bees to get up into the top boxes up here, which is where they're going to make their honey. But it's, they're small enough that the queen cannot get up in there, cannot get past there, so the queen's going to stay down here, and this is where all the baby bees are going to be, uh, what we call the brood. Is going to be is going to be laid. All the eggs are going to be laid down here. This is where they're going to raise their raise the new bees. Okay, so we want to make sure that she stays down in there and that the honey stays up on top. Okay, go ahead and put the cover on. Okay. 